many of you come home from school and run outside and play? Mondays I have hip hop. Tuesdays I have this filming thing. Basketball practice, Theater. French Theater. stop motion editing. Filmmaking. Send design. It sounds like everyone's exhausted. Yes. 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 Childhood today is full of stuff that kids have to accomplish. I don't have time to sit, I don't have time to think. I want to go above and beyond. They're pushing us to like be the best we can. For the first time, we have created a world in which we are negating childhood. How have we come to this point? I walked to school at age five. When you got to the corner, the crossing guard was a 10-year-old. Our younger son started asking if we would let him find his own way home on the subway. Two days later, I was on the Today Show being grilled. The worst mother in the world. Crime is the lowest it's been for decades. Where did all this fear come from? My mom always tried really hard to be a good parent. When Savannah was little, I don't think she could take two steps without us saying, be careful. I raised my kids in a culture that's very directed. We just kept pushing, pushing, pushing. I was crying every night because if something was wrong, then something was wrong with me. When you mortgage your kid's childhood, it's a debt that can never be repaid. Play is practice in the whole range of skills that they need to become effective adults. Let's do it again. That was so fun. One of the things that's stopping parents from sending kids outside is the fear of getting arrested pass this law and reassure parents that we will not criminalize them for knowing when their kids are ready for some independence. I feel like my kids missed out on something that kids shouldn't miss out on. Get out, have fun. What I really am trying to do is get parents to let go a little. All the worry in the world doesn't prevent death. It prevents life. <laughs>